Hello and welcome back to Lee Reader. My name is Lee, if you hadn't already guessed, and today I'm doing a book review. Now the book I'm reviewing today was recommended to me by a colleague who really enjoyed it and said I was going to enjoy it too, and he definitely wasn't wrong. And that book is Men, Women and Children by Chad Coltgun. Now this book doesn't really have a central plot line or a central story. It is about a whole bunch of different characters all going through their own stories, but they are all interwoven because the characters all know each other, they all go to school together, all the parents are friends, and they all mix in some way or another. But one of the good things about this is that it explores internet culture from both the view of the parents and the children. A view that is sometimes hilarious, sometimes true, yet sometimes terrifying. Now I really enjoyed this book and I really liked the themes that it explores. I think internet culture is a big part of our society now and it's really interesting to read how parents and children get along with it, even in fictional work, uh, because it's interesting to hear other people's perspective of it. In particular though, I love the story of Tim, Brandy, Alison and Kent. Let's start with Tim. Now Tim's story is really interesting to me because Tim is a gamer and loves World of Warcraft in particular. He's very addicted, he's got sort of this virtual online reality that he uses for escapism um, because his mother has left him and his dad uh, on their own and he's just found out, discovered something about his mother which he probably shouldn't have found out but he is just trying to escape into the, another world and keep his mind off things. So he enters World of Warcraft and he becomes very very addicted to it. But at the same time he starts to fall for a girl at school named Brandy. So let's talk about Brandy. Now Brandy also really likes Tim, but the problem is her mother, who has started a Parents Against the Internet club, and she keeps track of everything that Brandy is doing all of the time. She is tracking her mobile to see where she is, she does random internet checks to see what website she's on to make sure no one is messaging her, and it, it's her mom is just very on her, very tight. So Brandy creates a fake MySpace profile to talk to Tim, the guy that she likes in secret. Another character I really liked was Alison. Now Alison has come back to school after losing a bit of weight, but what the kids don't know is that she's actually anorexic and bulimic because she has stopped eating. Her family are all a bit larger and she used to be until the other kids made fun of her. So she stopped eating and she become really thin, become anorexic and bulimic that her parents don't know about either. And she goes, uses the internet to go on websites for what she calls thin inspiration. So it's basically saying, oh, how thin she is in the like pro-anorexia. And again, that's something that's really interesting because that's something I've never done and it's something that I've never really thought about. And it, it's baffling that people actually do this. And another character I really enjoyed was Kent. Now, Kent is Tim's dad, and he is suffering from that sort of post-divorced depression. He's on his own, he's just looking for someone to look after him. He's trying to find ways to connect with Tim as well. Um, and he does that because he meets someone at one of the Parents Against the Internet groups who happens to be the school's photographer and they end up hitting it off and their relationship starts to grow but from there he starts to monitor Tim's activity as well because Tim isn't acting as he used to. Now there is way more to this story than I could go on about. There are so many characters, so many plot lines which are all excellent, they're all interwoven. I seriously recommend you go and check this out if you're a fan of people, books about internet culture, things like that. This is really really a book for you. The only thing I didn't like about this book is that there were a couple of loose ends when it finished and I, I wanted to tie it up, I wanted to know a little bit more about some of the characters, but apart from that it's a really good story, really interesting plots between all of the characters and it's, like I said, it's just a really good story, really go and check it out. Overall I'm giving the book a 4 out of 5 stars. Again, excellent stories, excellent plot lines, just wanted to, to, him to tie it up at the end a bit, just a bit neater. But yeah, if you love stories about people and internet culture, go and check it out. It's the perfect read for you. So that's it for today's video. I hope you're all well and I hope you all had lovely weekends and I will see you on Thursday with a brand new video. Goodbye! of the video bit. So Thursday's video coming up will be a bookshelf tour. Um, I've, I've had a few comments asking for one, so I'm just going to give you a tour of my bookshelves, show you what I've got. So that should be fun. I've never done anything. I'm trying to think of a way to do it in like a creative kind of manner. Um, so hopefully that'll go well. I hope you're well. I hope you all had lovely weekends. Thank you all again for commenting and subscribing and whatnot. It's lovely to have you all here if you're new. So thank you very much. And yeah, I will see you on Thursday with a new video. Okay, I'll see you then. Goodbye.